Hello lords and ladies, welcome back to Cartoon Hangout, your place for all things cartoon. Not too long ago I did a first look video for Troll Hunters, and I said I may do a review of its first episode, so now I'm here to deliver on that promise. While we don't learn that much more in the way of overall plot in this first episode than was pointed out in the trailer, what we do get is quite frankly amazing. I, I don't mean to gush, but just from this first episode I'm extremely excited to keep watching. Maybe I won't even take the time to write this review. I'll just binge the entire show on Netflix right now. Uh, kidding, just kidding. In all seriousness, this was a fun first episode. Sure, maybe nothing wholly original in terms of archetypes and the genre this show falls under, but you won't find a better looking and fun show currently airing. I know this is from folks at DreamWork, so it's going to match their overall animation style, but if I turned off my lights, I might have thought I went to the movies. It's just that great looking. But then again, this is on Netflix, so maybe the budgetary demands are different than network television. I briefly mentioned that the show, at the moment, checks off all the boxes for an action-adventure series, and it really does. You've got the main character wishing for something more to life, his quirky fat sidekick, the school bully, the girl he's in love with, the teacher who's hiding a secret, and a destiny ahead of him. I'm sure you could take all that and find any number of other series that fit that criteria. I'm not telling you this because I'm disappointed, though. I'm merely illustrating that you can still take an overused concept and make it fun, because that's what matters. As long as the story is well written, and the characters are all fun to watch and learn more about, you're probably good. It's also just episode one, and we have plenty of time for the show to display its uniqueness in other episodes. For now, I think we've gotten enough of a peek to get hooked. Maybe I should actually spend some energy talking more about the story, though. Okay, so the first episode introduces us to our main focus, James Lake, a loving son who takes care of his mother who's a nurse that works way too much. While cheesy, it definitely gives us some great insight into James' character. Also, it's just plain sweet. For just 20 minutes, we really learn a lot about James in this first episode, which makes sense given it's the premiere episode. There's the aforementioned taking care of his mother, but he's also awkward around his crush to the point of speaking Spanish he clearly doesn't know enough of, and he has the guts to stand up to bullies. Again, all check boxes that are typically filled in with our heroes. Another element of the show seems to be his relationship with his teacher, Walt Strickler. This is another thing that's been done before, but I'm really looking forward to James seeking Strickler's advice, not knowing he's a bad guy. It's a used, but still an interesting and complex dynamic that I'm excited to see evolve over the course of the series. Before we wrap things up, let me note that if the action scene the episode opens with, which is a great way of starting the show by the way, is any indication, this show is not only going to be pretty to look at, but so are its fights. Churl Hunters could shape up to be the answer to my prayer for more cartoons with an ongoing narrative. All in all, I'd recommend this to anyone in need of a good action cartoon because God knows we haven't gotten many lately. I'm not positive I'll review more episodes or just do a write-up when I'm finished watching the entire series, but either way, let me know if you would like that. And do make sure to leave your own thoughts on this episode, and just this episode alone, down in the comments. For other videos to watch, check out my reviews of Miraculous Ladybug or my Ultimate Spider-Man ones. Thanks for watching and take care.